come back with musings number two. Now I've gotten a few questions over the past week from viewers, and I've written them down on little pieces of paper and put them all in this lovely little box. So let's see, I'll draw one out. What do we got in here? Okay. Okay, well. The question is... One thing that has always intrigued and also sort of confused me in the magical sciences is the topic of the right and left hand paths. Are these terms irrelevant to the Bardonian magician? Do these paths at all matter to someone who is generally pursuing the work of initiation into hermetics? I've heard that one on the left-hand path does not seek unity with the Creator, while those in the right-hand path do. If my memory serves me correctly, I think I remember Barden mentioning in either his first or second book that the true magician does not choose the left or right-hand path, but will instead see that the only true path is the middle path, or something like that. So... <clears throat> Well, what can I say? The left-hand path, right-hand path, these are distinctions that I think are, are, are fairly, I mean, they're very superficial distinctions. They are, I mean, what is the left-hand path? What is the right-hand path? You will get as many definitions for, for this as people that you ask. There, these aren't real words, not real terms. They have no real relevance to magic, especially to Bardonian magic. Now, Bardonian magic is sort of unique. It is distinct. It is a set of exercises that build abilities within the magician. From that point on, it's whatever you want to do with these abilities that you will have gained from pursuit of initiation in dramatics. Okay? So that's the raw teaching. It doesn't have any right hand or left hand uh, aspects to it. It is, as he described, the middle path. The middle path of development. Okay? Now, the distinctions in types of magic in practice and types of magicians in practice, I think that the more relevant concern is, well, I see two distinct paths here, if you will. There is the path of power over where you're exercising your will, your power, your abilities to change the universe so that it conforms with your desire. That is power over. You will heal. <laughs> okay? That is power over. Then the opposite of that, really, is power with. I will offer you things that will assist your healing. That's power with, okay? It's not power over. I'm changing the universe to conform to my desire. See, this is the distinction here. The, the will to change the universe to meet my needs, my wants, my expectations, my desires. That's a very totally ego-based approach, which is the most common approach these days, is this power over magic. It makes me feel powerful. I'm a great magician. I'm either a great magician who's doing the will of God, or I am the demonic you know, one Loki, the, the jokester. Either way, you know, it's an ego-centric approach to magic. And, frankly, 
it is the least potent use of magic, for magic. Power over is the least effective sort of magic. Okay? That's part of why there's usually so much drama involved in it, because we've got to muster as much astral energy as we can to uh, impact the universe, all right? But magic with is a much more subtle magic. It's quiet magic. It isn't the magic that announces itself. It's the magic that does its work in association with the natural flow of the universe. It's not magic that is antagonistic. It's magic that is friendly. You know? It doesn't have to overcome the natural resistance that the universe displays when we say, you've got to confer, you know, you've got to align to my wants. The universe generally says, oh, fuck you. You know? What are you talking about? I don't have to do anything of the sort. Or it says, okay, we'll change it the way you want. And you're going to learn some really nasty lessons because you've done this to the universe. That is always the danger of power over. But with power with, there is no such resistance from the universe. The universe works with our power with, when we seek to integrate with the universe as it is and help it along its evolutionary path. Or, when it comes to self-transformation, there's the power over type of, I will not ever do that again you know, forcing things in an unnatural way. Or there is the, the way of transformation, of working with the subconscious mind and helping it find new habits as opposed to just obliterating habits entirely. So, that's the distinction I want to make instead of left and right hand path. What are you doing? Are you involved in power over or power with? I feel that we need to ask that question always when we engage in any sort of magical work. Is this power over or is this power with? We need to judge ourselves, our motivations, and our actions in these ways. So, don't let it ever be just a blind automatic thing. Think it through. Consider the consequences of what you're doing. Am I messing with the universe? <laughs> or am I assisting the universe? Am I working with the universe? Or am I trying to make it my universe? Because okay. no matter what we want to do, it's never my universe. It's always our universe. It's a group effort here. So anytime we use our power, and that's what magic is all about, it's educating our power, our use of our power, until it becomes magical. So it's all about power. Then it's about what do we do with our power? How do we do it? In what way do we manifest our power? And, you know, Obviously, I recommend power with as being the superior type of magic. It's the 
much more far-reaching type of magic, the much more impactful magic, and it's also the quiet magic. The magic that does not announce itself to the world. The greatest magicians are people that you would never know are magicians. People you never know are the quiet ones that do everything out of the public eye. Okay? So, next time we'll have another piece of paper in the box and pull out a new questions. So, do definitely get in touch. If you have a question, write it in the comments, ask it in the comments, and uh, we'll add them to the box. And hopefully get to it one of these days. Okay? So that's it. Bye-bye.